welcome everybody to Nevada Tours. Please fasten your seat belts so we can start our little tour here in DCS World 2.0. With this latest version of the game we finally got a new map, the NTTR, which stands for Nevada Test and Training Range. I just took off from McCarran International Airport, which is the main commercial airport in the area. It has four runways and two terminals and with around 42 million passengers every year, it is the 24th busiest airport in the world. And back here we can already see Las Vegas with all its casinos and hotels. Now let me just open the canopy so we can see a little bit better without the dirty glass. Below us you can see a golf club and after this short turn here we will head straight to the famous Las Vegas sign which leads us the way into the city of Las Vegas. Alright, I think we should be above the Las Vegas sign, so let's pause here. Oh, looks like we got a little bit too close to the sign, but I think there is no damage on the plane yet. <laughs> yeah, that was the Las Vegas sign. It was built in 1959. And here we are in the city of Las Vegas. We just flew past the Mandalay Bay and down here at the Pyramid and the Sphinx we have the Lux Luxa Hotel, I don't know how you say that, Luxor, Luxor Hotel and Casino. And if we continue we can see the Excalibur Hotel and Casino, the New York Hotel and Casino on the left and here on the right the MGM brand and over there the Monte Carlo. Alright, now here you can see the Planet Hollywood on the right and also the Paris Las Vegas, unfortunately without the Eiffel Tower. And on the left we have the Bellagio with the famous fountains, I don't know if they work in the game, but we will see. And also the Caesars Palace and the Mirage. On the right is Harris Las Vegas and the Venetian and the Palazzo. Here on the left you can see Treasure Island and behind it the Trump International Hotel. And now we will pass the Adventure Dome theme park. This purple round thing below us here on the left. Now we are heading for the Hilton Hotel, which you can see here. It has its own golf club, which we'll also see down here. And after this turn we will head to the Stratosphere Casino Hotel and Tower. Right here we are at the Stratosphere Las Vegas. This is the, one of the highest buildings west of the Mississippi River. It's 350 meters tall and there are around 2400 rooms for guests inside. Alright, those were the most famous sites in the city of Las Vegas. Now we are heading to the northeast. And I think we'll jump into a little bit faster plane. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, here we are in a F-15C and we are heading to Nellis Air Force Base. We'll just do a quick flyover. There is nothing that special here. The Nellis Air Force Base was built in 1941 and is one of the largest air bases of the US Air Force. It's home of the Training Center and the US Air Force Warfare Center and also of the famous Thunderbirds. Alright, and right next to the Nellis Air Force Base we got the Las Vegas Motor Speedway which is a racing track. And if you look close you can also see a few cars racing down there. Alright, another look down to the motor speedway and to the Nellis Air Force Base before we head further to the east. We'll fast forward here because the map is huge. And if we take a look back here we can see the skyline of Las Vegas. And to our right side we got Boulder City. And to the left we have Lake Mead. And down there the next landmark which is the Hoover Dam. So let's just dive down here into the canyons and take a closer look on the dam. Here we have the Colorado River, which is the border of the states of Nevada and Arizona. Passing through the Michael Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge, we can already see the Hoover Dam which is a source of hydroelectric power for Las Vegas but also the whole state of Nevada, Arizona and also for California. It was built between 1931 and 1936 and more than 100 workers died during the process of building it. And Boulder City which we just passed was the home of these workers. And obviously the Hoover Dam is a major tourist attraction. If you keep flying to the east, the resolution of the ground textures isn't that good, but these are the outskirts of the Grand Canyon, which means that there are great valleys and canyons to fly through. Alright, and now to something very different to the north here. This is a very small town called Rachel, but it also has a very famous landmark here, which is the Little Ale Inn. I hope I spelled that correctly. And that's the case because we're on the extraterrestrial highway here, and you will soon see why this is called the extraterrestrial highway. Here you can see the sign and also a little UFO and if you take a look on Google it looks completely the same. Alright, and it's called the extraterrestrial highway because the area 51 is right around the corner and now we are approaching the area 51 or Groom Lake.
there are a lot of conspiracy theories about this airbase from captured aliens and crashed UFOs from Roswell and stuff like that. There is a huge underground facility and I don't know what. The official version is that they just tested some spy planes here, for example the U-2 and also the F-117. I put a few of those here so you can see them. And the reason why I was so excited to fly around here was the movie Independence Day. I guess most of you pilots know that movie, even though it's very <laughs> unreal. But it was a film of my childhood and I loved it. Whoops, that was a little bit too fast, but I think the engineers here at Groom Lake will fix this for me. And we also reached our final destination. We have another look on the F-117 and a little easter egg. I think the developers of DCS World also believe in some of the conspiracy theories because if we take a look into this tent-like hangar we can see that they put some spacecraft in here. According to other people these are from Star Trek. I don't watch it so I can't confirm this. But anyways, this is the end of my little tour around NTTR. I hope you liked it and if I forgot something, please just leave me some comments and I'll put it into my future videos. So if you like this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos about DCS World 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.